Hey, hey, it's Helen here from HelenMartinOnline.com. How are you going today? Hope you can see me okay. It's really bright and sunny today, and the brighter it is out there, the harder it is to see me. Well, here's a lesson for you. When you do a Facebook Live, make sure the sun is in front of you and not behind you. But um, how can you resist this view? Um, anyway, what I'm talking about today, uh, this is a training for my home-based business owners. How are you fellow network marketers? I'm talking today about why building a brand online makes recruiting easier, faster, and more convenient. Why should you build a brand online? Why should you build a brand at all? Why is this important to you in the network marketing industry? So that's what I'm going to cover today. So I hope you get good value out of this today. And please stick around for the end because I have um, you know, a special offer for some of you um, that I'm going to talk about at the end. So for those of you that haven't been on live with me before, please put the number one below and uh, just say hi and tell me where you're coming in from. Even if you're watching on the replay, please say hello. Tell me where you're coming in from. I love to connect with people after the live and say hello back. So uh, branding yourself online, building a brand online. Why should you? You know, I talk to a lot of people about just traditional network marketing and then uh, transitioning your business online. And I ask people, what do you think your biggest asset is? So a lot of people think it's their products of their company, their network marketing company. Some people are totally in love with the company itself. Some people think it's the comp plan because our comp plan plays so much better than everybody else's. Um, you know, ground floor opportunity. There's always something that somebody believes, you know, is better than somebody else's. That is actually what is, <laughs> I'm not spitting this out right. It's important, but it's not the most important thing. So what is the most important thing in your business? Anybody know, if anybody's here with me live, or even on the replay if you're watching, just put down below what you think that your biggest asset in your business is. I'm going to tell you anyway. So your brand is your business. Your brand, not your company's brand, not the products, not the company, not the comp plan. It's you. People buy into you before they buy your products or go into business with you. You are your brand. Your brand is your business. So how do you brand yourself? Now, I really want you to think about this and grasp this because it's so, so, so important to the growth of your business, whether you're building the traditional way or you're building online. And I'll get to the difference in a moment. But everything you do is a reflection on whether people like you, whether people think you're credible, what kind of reputation that you have, um, whether you're memorable or otherwise. Everything you say, everything you do, every which way you conduct yourself, it leaves an impression. Every person you come across, everybody you talk to, everybody you approach about your business, everything you do creates an impression. So have a think about that, how you conduct yourself in your life. What kind of impression do you create on people? Is that positive? Are you seen as a complainer? Are you seen as somebody who's uplifting and happy and having a good life? Are you seen as somebody who grabs opportunities and just runs with it no matter what the risk? Are you seen as somebody who's uplifting to other people and people look up to? This is your brand. It's you. People buy into you before they buy your products, you know, or your opportunity. So you have the opportunity to accelerate your brand online. So this is why I'm saying with the heading, why would you build a brand, uh, you know, building a brand online, why does it make recruiting easier, faster, and more convenient? Because you can speed up your brand online. Now, you can do this in a positive or a negative way, and unfortunately, there are a lot of network marketers out there that are the old traditional bad habits that they've got of recruiting offline, they're taking online and doing exactly the same thing. If you're pushy, if you hound people, if you chase people, if you push your stuff out on people and bring that online and do the same thing, you've just killed your brand. So this is where a lot of people um, online, where they're doing it the wrong way, 
And I actually don't know if this will ever stop. Uh, you know, all this stuff that I've been doing online and I'll look at people's profiles that I talk to and there are serial offenders out there <laughs> with, um, you know, their branding online. And I'll give you examples. Um, posting um, pictures of your products that are attached to your network marketing company and you post that two or three times a day. And it might be that you've been told to do this. You might not even know that you're doing anything wrong. But you get told you've got to use social media. You've got to get as many friends on your friends list as possible, even if you don't know them, strangers. And so I'll tell you what happens with that. So you go and you've been taught this strategy, which is a free Facebook strategy, fair enough. Go and friend new people. And I would encourage you to do that. But what people will do is they'll go and friend new people. So whenever you create a new friend on Facebook, they're going to go and check you out, correct? Send me some likes, send me some love that you're understanding what I'm saying here. So they're going to go and check out your profile. So then your profile has got all through it pictures of your network marketing company's products. Or I'm in the best opportunity ever if you want to make money from home and, um, you know, drink coffee on your deck and work, you know, whatever it is that you might say, PM me. Or you've got a company that does specials per month and they throw in a free set of steak knives or whatever it is for that month. This is what's offer you get this, this and this, PM me. So you are a sales billboard for your network marketing company. So you've just friended this new person. This person will go, who is that? I don't know that. So they go and check out your profile and all through your profile is just stuff about your products and your network marketing company. Don't think that they're not going to go, ah, now I know why they friended me. They're in a network marketing company and they're trying to you know, prospect me or get me to buy their stuff. This is the stuff that people don't think through. This is stuff that uplines are teaching their teams to do and it's completely wrong. So yes, you are your brand. Your brand is your business before the products that you offer or the opportunity that you are in. It's all about you, remember, okay? So then you can accelerate your brand online, but are you doing that the right way or the wrong way? So you have the opportunity when you go online to build your brand in a positive way, be uplifting for people, bring value to people, all that good stuff. But you also have the opportunity to accelerate your brand in the wrong way. So you post all your stuff over and over again, your friends are looking at it and they get to a stage where I just don't want to see this stuff anymore. I don't even know what it is. I don't know how it can help me because you've never had that one on one with somebody letting them know how this might help them and you're talking all about the opportunity and people don't get it there's no connection there there's no connection to the benefit and you just you're just repelling people you know actually so there's a lot of people doing social media all wrong so yes you have the opportunity to accelerate your brand online but just be very careful about how you're doing that so i just want you to remember one thing so your brand is all about the results you're producing, the value you are providing, the actions you are taking, and the people you are affecting or impacting. This is the combination of what your brand is. So let me say that again. Your brand is all about the results you are producing, the value you are providing to other people, the actions that you are taking, and the people you are affecting or impacting. So when you go online, you have the opportunity to speed up your results because you create a brand. People follow you. You give them value. They'll be drawn into you when you go out to the cold market, which branding online is all about. You attract people to you. You warm them up. They get to know, like, and trust you, and they will buy off you. When they buy off you, then you're producing more results, which then you can tell people what you've done and you can give more value to people by telling them what to do. And you're always taking action. So if you help other people get what they want, you will always get what you want. So your branding, it's really important that you do it the right way, that you start getting results that yourself. And when you build a brand and give value, you can't help but get those results. It just comes when you do it the right way. Just trust me, it does. Um, but giving value. If you, um, 
you know, if you give value to people, if you help people, people will be drawn to you. Pete, your brand is all based on what people think about what you can do for them. If you can help them, if you can enlighten them, if you can teach them something, if you can give them greater awareness about something that they didn't know before, which actually helps them be a better person, grow their business, learn something new, then that's all your brand. So you can accelerate that brand online and then it snowballs from there. But, you know, I will say a lot of people go online because they didn't make network marketing work offline. So they go, I'll go online and it'll be really easy that way. I'm not going to lie to you. you go, building a business online still takes work. It still takes effort. You have to do Facebook lives. You have to produce content. You have to give value to people. You can't sit there, pump out your stuff and go, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. I'm here online. Come to me. I want you to buy my stuff. It doesn't work that way. You're going out to the cold market in the online world. You've got to warm people up to know, like, and trust you. And then when people know, like, and trust you, they will do business with you in whatever way that you need to, whether that's, you know, promoting your products or going into your business opportunity or, you know, affiliate marketing, network marketing, you know, whatever it is that, that you do. But what's really important here is that you lead with you. Yes, you've got products to sell. Yes, you've got an opportunity that you want people to join, but you don't lead with that. You lead with you. You're number one here. You brand you. When you brand you, do it the right way, give value, produce results, help other people get more results, then you'll get everything that, that you know what you want. So you lead with you. So same as like me, my online profile, it's Helen Martin, it's my name. It's not a company name. Yeah, I am in network marketing. I have a network marketing business. I am actively building my business and selling products and stuff like that, but I don't lead with that. Neither on my public page or my personal Facebook page would you know what company I'm with, and that's exactly how it should be. Because when you lead with the company, all you're telling people is you are a salesperson for that company. You're not branding you. You're just saying, yep, yeah, um, this is what I have to offer. So it's the company that's got the offer. It's the company that produces the, the products. You're just the middleman. You're just the salesperson. So when you lead with the product or the opportunity, you're just putting your name up in lights to say you're a salesperson for that. You're not a salesperson for anybody. You're a salesperson for yourself first. Then, yes, you sell your products, your opportunity, etc. after that. Now, if you don't know how to do that, this is the special that I've got for network marketers. I'm doing something that I've never done before and it's because I'm just, I don't know why, but I'm just driven at the moment to help people for free. I just want to see more people get results and I am passionate about people learning how to do this the right way rather than just spamming people because it gives us all a bad name in this industry. So I'm offering to mentor 10 people, there's only a few spots left, um, 10 people for the next five weeks about the basics of building a business um, online. How do you do it? What are the foundations? Well, give you a really good introduction. The only thing you need to do is buy the resource that has got all the foundational work written out and then we just jump on a Zoom call once a week and I go through that content but I explain it to you. So I'm spoon feeding you <laughs> to understand the information because what I've done, which I'm sure a lot of people do, put the number three down below if you've done this, you see something that you think this might help me in my business. You buy it and then you do nothing with it. Like I spoke about yesterday and the day before, have you got shiny object syndrome? Are you stuck in a rut? All that kind of stuff. So I wanna help you get out of the rut and I want to give you that solid introduction and foundation to building a business online. So all you need to do is purchase a little tiny purchase for the resource that is the Bible of attraction marketing, attraction mar attracting people to you online. And then I'll put you in a special Facebook group that I've created that's private, which is my mentoring for five weeks. You can post questions in there whenever you want and I will answer them the following week on the live. If you can't make the Zoom call in that Facebook group, doesn't matter. I'll record them and put the link to the replay up. This is not meant to be onerous to people. Some people said, how much time is this gonna take? Um, you, you put into it or get what out of it you want. I'm offering it to you for free. What have you got to lose? So if, if you think that would be beneficial for you or even anybody in your team, tag somebody to this video and offer them the same opportunity. If you think that will help you learn how to brand yourself online properly, like learn, really learn how to do this 
um, building a business, building your network marketing business online properly. So if that's of interest to you, click the link above. Um, it's on offer up there, but only a few spots left and we start next week. So I'm not, uh, you know, it's, this is not going to be available next week. Um, you know, I'm going to shut it down and just work with that group. And I, I only want a small group because I really want to help those people um, so there you go. Um, so click on that link above. Take advantage of that. I'm happy to help you. Um, you know, over the next few weeks, really get a solid foundation to know where you can take this and what you can do with it, so you can achieve what I've achieved. You know, get thousands of followers on Facebook, bringing value. How do you do that? How do you make sales online? If you want to do paid Facebook advertising, how do you fund? The, uh, you know, the, how do you get the income you need to do the Facebook advertising to then bring people in your network marketing company? Like it's, there's skills involved. There's new skill sets involved that I've had to learn from scratch. My background's in the corporate world. I was a general manager. What did I know about sales funnels and Facebook advertising and all the rest of it? So it's important to just get those foundations there strong so then you can take this wherever you want to. But it is a saviour. It's been mine to building your network marketing business in a way that's not pushy. Um, you know, you're only talking to people that want to talk to you first and you can target your pre-qualified prospects. So it's worth looking into, trust me. So the reason why I'm on a bit earlier today is that I have to get myself to the city, get myself on a flight. I'm going interstate for uh, my one of my company conferences. So I'll keep you posted, um, you know, over the weekend of uh, what I'm learning and what's happening. And, uh, you know, somehow I've still got to keep up this one hour of exercise a day while I'm away. Um, if you've been watching my Facebook page, have a look at all those photos. So you'll see what I mean by looking at my page. Anyway, have an awesome rest of the day and I will talk to you very soon on my next Facebook Live. Bye.